All right, y'all, I'm gonna keep this intro short. Welcome back into the channel, and I hope you guys enjoy episode three of The Walking Dead season four. Episode three, Broken Toys. Let's get down to previous night on The Walking Dead. To defeat Lily. While searching for a place to call home, AJ and I found an old boarding school run Poor by Marlin. kids deep in the forest. Their leader was a guy named Marlin. And AJ pulled the trigger. They keep showing that one. I told AJ that what he'd done was murder, that he'd have to atone for it. The other kids agreed. They voted to kick us out. I thought we'd never return. Then, AJ and I were attacked by Abel, one of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. Oh, he is still alive, he was too. With someone I thought I'd never see again. Lily. We were almost eaten by walkers when suddenly one of them spoke to me. His name was James, an ex whisperer who didn't believe in killing walkers. We better see he more of James. Me treat AJ, but without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ and let us back inside. Hmm. After the I told side. them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay, at least until the fight. I decided to help Violet in the bell tower. I stand by we that decision. The stars together. Violet is a great friend. Those are rare. Then the raiders finally came. They busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned. Until Ten ran nope. out of cover, hoping yep. for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb went off, and attempting to save Ten, Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. With only a second I to seriously decide, regret that death. I fired and saved Violet. They got away with three of our friends, and we had no idea where they'd gone. But we have two but we people. Knew someone who did. And technically, James would know, too. I did guess that at the end of the last episode, but I think James would know because he spoke about them before, or at least knowing what they do. There is a whole nother side to this that I want to address. As far as the plot feels a little shaky. So, so far they took three individuals and we have one dead. I'm so upset about the death. He did not deserve that. Yeah. I don't even think we can make graves for... I started to like Mitch. He was a butthole at a time, but I would have been the same way, I feel like, in his position. They were upset at me. Okay, they are digging a grave. At the start, I was so little. And, and Mitch looked after me. People said he was a dick sometimes. <laughs> but he was always nice to me. <laughs> At least that he's truthful fun. with it. He'd want you to go on. Stabbed in the eye by some asshole. Try to pull yourself never together. Knew his name. He'd want you to go on. Mitch was looking after all of us. He gave his life so we could go on fighting. I know that. Doesn't make it any yeah, easier. Yeah, we don't have any rapport with him. He'd want us to find our friends and bring them home safe. And he'd want us to kill the people who took them. The voice hey, changed. He's waiting for you in the basement. We got Abel tied up tight. He's alive, but he's out cold. Thanks. Mm. We should bury Mitch. It's time. Sorry, I shouldn't be smiling, but I'm laughing at something. <laughs> a realization with that scene. I'll help you carry Get away from him! <laughs> You're the reason he's dead! Willie! Well, it's true! It wasn't Ten's fault. We had a fault. plan, and that idiot messed be it nice, up! Be nice, even if it's true. Come on, Willie. None of this is Ten's fault. You know who's really to blame. I can't believe you're defending him! This... This is bullshit! Ten! I'll take care of this. I mean, it was Talk Ten's Abel, fault. Find out where Lily took Lewis, Omar, and a sim. And Clem, don't be afraid to, you know, hurt him a little. Maybe you'll get more out of him than we did. I mean, Clem is now turning into 
torturing and breaking people. Bad memories down here, that's for sure. Hopefully... Oh, there is still blood. Yeah, I didn't really see them cleaning it up. Oh, and they have Rosie down here. We're interrogating Abel. I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe James wouldn't know their location, but all right. So I do want to say just a couple things uh, right off the rip here is I want to know what is this war that they're trying to recruit people to help their cause? Because um, first of all, like we know it's against another rival group or some sort of thing, but what is this really over? Is it the same things we've seen before? Just scarcity, food, necessities, etc. cetera. Um, so I want to find out more about that. I also feel a little upset by the fact that Lily is the sole survivor from season four or from season one, aside from Clem, of course. But that kind of pisses me off. I don't I understand that it could make a great like, oh, this is the villain. Like, you know, we hated her in season one and she's still bad in season four. Like this makes for the perfect last season villain. It still feels better than that whole sequence between Kenny and that one girl, that ending of season two. That felt very shaky on the story, but this one still feels a little chaotic at times. The third and final thing that I'm really hoping to get clarification on is those sisters. I feel like they're going to be brainwashed at this point. I'm not actually certain that they're going to be, um, you know, wanting to help us stand on our own or escape their situation i kind of have a feeling that they might think it's better where they are a lot of time has passed right it's been about a year i remember that they said it had been a year since their abduction or death um so yeah i want to see what really is the outcome with those two individuals okay yeah, I knew we were going to be able to look at that. It was too bright colored not to. We get it for our room. Hmm. Also, another question for the comment section. Do you wish they had done collectibles throughout all of the games and not just season four? I understand the reason for doing collectibles in this one was to like be able to make your home feel more personalized to you. It was kind of like a reward for paying attention uh, to details within the game. However, all right, let's grab this stuff should too. be strong enough to hold them. I still think it would have been cool to like, as you went along, find things. I think there were plenty of settings in the previous seasons. It wasn't all fast paced, you know? Is that an Etch-a-Sketch? Wait, there's so many collectibles down here. Sketch toy. All right, let's maintain our relationship with Rosie because that helped us at the end of last episode. She's my dog now. <laughs> my dog now. Brody. I wonder if we were able to look at the blood up here too real quick. I didn't pay enough attention. I was also laughing earlier about that scene because just the way that um, ah, Mitch's friend, I, I we've literally had so few conversations with him that he is not even like honestly an afterthought in my brain, but oh, he's just using the gun on him. Whoever that was, just something with the voice change reminded me of the exorcism. I don't, or the exorcist, <laughs> the exorcist where her voice completely changes. Demonic presence. Got your gun back, huh? Uh-huh. Hmm. He got done dirty too. Isn't his like foot messed up? His arm, his eye? Ready? We're gonna have him watch. Let AJ wake him, slap him, shout at him, drench him. I guess I have to do a successful interrogation on him. I feel like AJ shouldn't, I mean, if we're trying, I don't know, I feel like these are not the principles we really need to be teaching him. <sighs> shout at him. Sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was just the most me thing that I would have done. Well, it ain't no way to wake an old man up from his afternoon nap. <laughs> I was having a nice dream, too, about a girl I used to know from before. She also had me tied up, but I wasn't her prisoner if you get my meaning. <laughs> Drink. Wow. You got good manners, Squirt. Don't mind if I do. Because AJ offered it to him, I'm gonna allow it to happen. <laughs> good cop, bad cop. You've had your water. Now it's time to talk. It's the first time interrogating someone, isn't it? <laughs> you let me dictate the agenda. Makes me think you're weak. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's going to turn around and come right back for me. How does she know you're not already dead? You better give me the five-star treatment. If I'm smiling when she gets here, you might be able to trade me for a little mercy. We underestimated you little shits, but Lily won't make the same mistake twice. She'll be back. Trust me. She can't afford to leave anyone behind. I was gonna slam his head, but I also just want to see what Rosie... You aren't gonna do that. You don't have it in you. Yeah, I feel like... Call it off! Call it off, you fucking psycho! See, I... It shows me still control. Yeah. <laughs> Lily will never give him up. The only reason we came here was for more manpower. Losing mm. Jonathan and me for three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Yeah. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. We're gonna get him back. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another. From Richmond to the coast. Well, back in they the Delta Richmond. World War. With some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. We need people to fight it. Damn it. This is gonna complicate Soldiers things. Soldiers do what we say. Point the guns the way we tell them to. You little turds are supposed to be easy pickings. That's called kidnapping. Give it whatever name you want. I call it survival. What, making people who don't want to fight? What kind of place is this Oreo? Delta if they use forced labor to defend it? Yeah. You think we like doing raids like this? Our home is under threat. It's a good home. Built to last. I'd do a lot to protect it. Maybe you can understand that. And I do a lot to get my friends back. So stop wasting my time. He's not afraid of me, but he would have been afraid of the dog, so that's okay. why I did that. Front pocket. The answer to all your questions. Read it. They didn't search him. Whosoever parteth the hoof already and is cloven footed, and cheweth the cud among the beasts that shall ye eat. What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. I was hoping it'd be some timely moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. Yeah. <laughs> well, come on. That was a Bible page. Light itself. Want to know where your friends are? The smoke will clear my mind. Oh, okay, I don't know. I'm allowing him to have it? Help me remember stuff. Like where Lily went. Come on, kid. Oh, you don't can bring him. <laughs> mm, you guys! I'm not about to burn him with a cigarette. Although this just... Okay, this kind of makes me think that I really do want to go back through and play all the seasons and choose the most like butthole response possible or like just the most aggressive responses. I feel like you would get, I just want to see how the outcome would be. I know I could watch other people do it, but I want to see my, like, I want to know. All right, we're going to stub this out. Oops. You little bitch. Oh. 
He's already terrified of Rosie. He'll tell us if he needs. That's a lot of blood. Oh, fuck. This is not good. He's gonna die, isn't he? Probably. We can patch him up. I thought you wanted this. I hope so. I mean, if that's like internal bleeding, I don't- We have medicine. We can still patch him up. I don't think so. Yeah, this is like- When you push me off that balcony- Yeah. Something must have burst inside of me. Internal bleeding. No medicine can fix this. But at least he heard that we maybe wanted to try. Shit. I never wanted things to end like this. Everything. It all got out of hand. Not so tough Not now. I'm a fucking mess. Will he turn? No. <laughs> my, my whole life, everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will for my body to turn on me. To take control. I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise. You won't let yeah. her turn. Clem's eyes in the sequence are I'm so expressional. His, it's his dying wish, dude. I'm not gonna deny that. If you're honest with me, I'll put you out of your misery. You have my word. His okay. eye is so cool. We're docked a few miles west of here at an old fishing pier. Your friends are on the boat. <laughs> you, you got what you wanted. Please, don't let me become one of those things. Please, I don't want to turn. I just want to hear him talk. I already know my decision, y'all. You know I'm not about to let him turn, especially because it's... You're still gonna have to use a bullet, at least this way. He doesn't become what he hates. And AJ. Not that. I wanna... Let me keep my face. Uh, really? You don't have to watch. I want you to see this. This reminds me a lot of season two, when we watched Carver. You don't need to watch this. But I want to. I want to. Yeah, I saw that coming. I was just gonna do a one stab. I feel like this is not any cleaner than the gunshot, depending on how clean of a shot it is. Oh, okay. gone with the bullet to the brain. I'm gonna... <laughs> At least you can't hurt anyone anymore. I yeah. <laughs> you just tortured a man in front of him. <laughs> I didn't, like, I, it was like a... I did a... Rosie did it. Rosie did it. Come on. We have a boat to find. Alright, so two things happened there. He watched us torture somebody. Oh, crap. But I thought we had to. There wasn't a choice. I mean, we sh we did show him mercy, you know? Like, there were still good principles we showed him there. I don't know. His demeanor changed so quickly. Like, he was so sassy and then coughs up blood and then instantly Once is we dying. Find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Yeah, if 10 doesn't fuck it up this time. I don't know why I don't like that kid. It wasn't Tin's fault. <laughs> yes, it was. Mitch died because he- Say one more thing about Tin. I dare you. Guys, look. I don't know why I look at him and I see Chuck E. Cheese. Like, that is all that <laughs> comes to mind when I see that kid. <laughs> all right, here we go. Aw. Uh. 
What Kenny wouldn't give anything? for a boat? The beach, um, a boat, and a, a wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Okay, let's spread out. She was so aggressive. Areas. Keep your heads low. Okay. I still feel like if we had allowed Violet to get taken, she would have been able to sway one of the girls. But okay, so we're spying on raiders. I'm gonna go this way. Talk to AJ. Find anything over here? They have horses. Oh. Let me see. Uh, it's making them think about the ranch and uh, oh, just in case, like, I kind of forgot about it for a second. But yes, that's really important to remember that we still don't know what happened at the ranch. We got a nightmare glimpse at it, but still. We got those horses free. We could slow down anyone trying to chase us. Mm -hmm. You have intel. Horses. We should get rid of their horses. <laughs> Are those torches? I think so could be easy fire that's true especially with the brush setting the hay on fire would get their attention scare the horses too we could get on the boat easier that way that's true cut the horses free light the hay on fire that ain't bad i'm gonna talk to the kid last you ever seen this boat before no marlin kept us confined to the safe zone it was so close the whole time Pier leading up to the boat. It's our only way in and out. Well, let's see what else is down there. All right, we've got somebody on the lookout up there. It's pretty heavily guarded, that's for sure. The pier has plenty of cover on it. That's true. Be careful. We can sneak in undetected. The notion that three, what, four kids are about to infiltrate this boat with multiple grown ass adults with weapons i can see an entrance i saw that too it looks like there's yeah. a door at the other end there's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways aj and i know how to deal with those i feel like we just started doing like a uh splinter cell mission or something right now <laughs> i don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners they're probably below deck mm -hmm. we should have asked abel <laughs> When he said on a boat, I didn't think it'd be this big. Same, I was not expecting this. There are a few on deck, a couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. Looks like they're well armed too. <laughs> That's an understatement. What do we have? A bow and arrow? Wait, I see Lewis. Abel wasn't lying. This is it. Yeah. No, it's just another heavily guarded ship. <laughs> There's no good cover leading up to the boat. The fire. We'll have We're to. We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Water! Oh, that's good. They have rifles with scopes too, like full blown scopes, and a crossbow up top. Maybe if we could get walkers on the beach somehow. Maybe not as hard as you'd think. We could use walkers as a diversion. I wonder if we're going to have to choose one of the three plans, you know, like you have to pick which person you're kind of going with. Anything useful? Looks like building material, furniture, I don't probably like stuff kid. from the train station. What is this? Oh, OK. I feel like we take that guy out first. Wood and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. <laughs> we should have that stuff. More torches. Torches? We could use the fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's like the voice acting mixed with his just, I think honestly, his dialogue just did him dirty. They're loading those rafts with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river easy. That is true. We could burn these or cut them loose. Ideally, we keep all the supplies. We should get out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. <laughs> I 
All right. The problem with this is we have to be sneaky, and when have I ever been sneaky, y'all? When have I ever? What's the plan? Crap, I gotta decide. Well, they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat. There's no way we can take them all at once. Our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board. We should burn their stuff. That'd work. We could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses. Hay for the horses? Whatever we don't burn, we should take. Ruby would love to have the horses. But I'd rather steal those supplies. Oh, are we like, I okay. traps. Weapons. Damn it. Yeah, we'll steal their supplies and burn the hay as our distraction. I feel like we can still have the horses. The rafts, you have to do it carefully. Wouldn't do it any other way. The fire will lure the raiders away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot. Hmm. You remember that guy I told you about, James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. That is true. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. But if we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. I don't know about that. Because that's going to put both walkers and humans in danger. And Perfect. James stands against both of that. Both of those, honestly. What about after we get everyone home? I mean, the raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick. Oh. That's one of the girls. It's Minnie, I bet. It's gotta be. A raider. Has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. She's gonna recognize her. Or maybe it's the other one, not Minnie, because I feel like Violet would have recognized her hair color, possibly. Drop it. Yeah. Have my friends been here? How many raiders are there? Where do you keep the captives? How many of you are there? How many of who? I'm not fucking around. Answer the question. Eight. There's eight. No shot. Clementine, wait. That... Minnie. It's Minnie. I told you! I called it. I thought she would recognize her sooner, but... Wait, this is huge. This would help our cause more than if Lewis was on the boat. After the attack, I wasn't sure. I mean, I heard they burned half your school down. She looks like the girl from Who Borderlands, survived? too. Ruby, Mitch, Brody, Ten. Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um, she died. Ten's boots holding up okay? His no. boots are so old, they're more holes than rubber. I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. <sighs> You're Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlin died. How does she Here, know so much? I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. I didn't ask to leave. Violet's Not in charge. New kid. Violet's the one in charge. Yes. Really? The Violet I knew could barely stand to talk to people. No. Oh. The little plate class president. You're the one who convinced the school to fight back. From where I'm standing, that puts you in charge. Your leadership is going to get my little brother killed. Excuse me? <laughs> Abel figured he could talk Marlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did. But... Like they did before. Hmm. You ruined the whole plan. You just wanted more of your friends to get taken? You and Sophie away. Yeah, and we all survived it. Marlin would have never made them fight the way you did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. Many are uh, wrong. Marlin Glenn murdered protected Brody. us. You yeah. sound like one of them. And how come so many people are dead? You know, Minnie, you sound an awful lot like one of them. Yeah, that's really close to the speech Lily gave me in the woods. True. It's the truth. Where's Sophie? She's been drinking the Kool-Aid. Is she alive? She... She died protecting the Delta. A hero. Oh, a hero for somebody else's cause. A hero? God, you Nerva! Shit. Oh. Rockingham! 
finish up and head back. I want to be in before dark. Wouldn't she be like, why is your axe on the ground? Yes, ma'am. I don't trust her as one of us anymore. But to protect her brother, possibly. Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do, don't fight. The only way you're going to save your people is to let us take them. I'm serious. Don't fight this. It's not too late to come home. Time would be a shame. If Tim could see you now, he'd be ashamed to call you his sister. Hit him where it hurts. I think when it says she'll remember that, it could be in a good way, you know? Like, we might need her help to look the other way or assist us when we raid the boat. I think that might come in handy. Are you okay? Nothing's changed. Good for our Violet. Our plan is to get onto the boat and save our friends. So that's what we're gonna do. Hmm. You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except ten. I warned you. Enough. Both of you. <laughs> AJ and I will go find James. Good Yay! Luck. James! <laughs> I only talked about him, like, the entire last hour of episode two. I think maybe why this is a favorite for a lot of people, too, is Clem is no longer leading from behind. Like, she is in the front and also making the decisions whereas before like she always made so, decisions because do you, think you play as her but 15 100 a thousand Clem, i don't ow gunshot wound it feels like someone pinched me from inside i wonder if she got everything out Here, let's rest a second I love his science dog shirt. That was definitely the best choice. Just saying. Clem, I, I keep thinking. When Willie said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. He was being mean, and Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just punch his head. Think it, don't I do it. I tried breathing, kicking rocks. I don't like this feeling. Glad when I hurt somebody. I know it's hard, AJ, but thoughts like that, they go away. You just have to give it time. Uh, waiting's hard. <laughs> I'm just thinking too much. Welcome to the club. Like, I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. But he just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. Well, why don't we teach them? They're smart. Someone just has to show them what to do. Yeah. I want Tim to know how to be safe. We can show them how to be smart, like us. Mm. It's weird that people are so different. <laughs> <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth? Trouble like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. Mm, parents I knew neglecting a them once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you. I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. You never get rid of it. You sock it in the mouth. Uh, it doesn't work like that. It's too deep down inside you. It never goes away. That sucks. AJ will remember but that. But you can resist it, just like anger. I 
I still like them. Do you want to commend the writers for creating I liked him the most? I think, even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Oh yeah? I thought I was your first real friend. <laughs> well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. I'm not that You're much not. older. <laughs> Fine. He's my second first real friend. No, I was going to say that they have done an incredible job at creating a dialogue that does sound like they balance it between him acting a little bit older for his age because of him being in the scenario and it being forced to grow up at a at a faster rate. Right. But she's still educating him. She's still like teaching him those principles and the questions he asked there. It felt very I don't know, just exactly how someone his age would probably ask. It's still, I think, for the age that you guys told me in the comments on the first one, it still feels like he's very much ahead of his time, um, which isn't a bad thing. It's just this situation makes you grow up so much faster. But the writers have really knocked, like, child dialogue out of the park in this series as a whole, I think, even leading back to when Clem was much younger. Oh yeah, that's his camp. He's probably just hanging out with them somewhere. I don't see any corn. Oh, but if he has a whole new skin I don't now. see James, just monsters. <clears throat> James? You're hurt. Oh. Did the raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. I could we need you to put you maybe in. help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I can't pass through a herd without it. Uh, okay, then, let's go get it. Please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them. The walkers. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all of them? Please. I'll... I'll try. Don't kill any of them, but yes, I'll help you move walkers to their certain death. Okay, using B to stun walkers to satisfy James. Oh, sh All right, hold on. Why is it doing the... Oh, okay. They're so close, you guys. I can't... Oh, I can't even run that way. I'm gonna get grabbed. Woo! All right, let's get this guy. Hmm. Go for this one. Three in a row. Call it a hat trick. Oh, gosh. The, the direction that I can run in is so weird. Okay, we need to pull them away from the camp. I don't know how long I can uh, keep this up. Did you find your mask? I can't find it. The horses must have... There! Where? Oh, shit. Uh, we have to run. Hey, over here! AJ. AJ. No, there are too many of them. Grab your mask. The cart. Push it, the noise will draw them away. Oh, they came so close. All right, let's go. Yeah. Satisfy James's request. That was nice. That would be so terrifying. AJ, are you okay? Yeah, no bites. James noticed that you spared the walkers. I don't know why I like James so much. To kill them. You're kind. I appreciate it. Really. He's got such a like soft voice. Your relationship with James has changed. Next thing you know, he takes up residence in Texas and becomes... Thank you 
for helping me get this back. Now, how will Walker save your friends? By letting them held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. You want to use walkers to hide, to sneak on board their ship? That's insane. <laughs> it's our only chance. He doesn't I owe us anything. I have something I need you to see, so you can understand what you're asking. James. Oh. We still need his help, right? Yeah, we do. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like the first character I really connected with in this game, honestly, was James, aside from Clem and AJ. He just feels like a very strong character. Without, like, demanding it, you know? It's safe. <sighs> Is it gonna be, like, a... Just a little further. Maybe it shows that there's still... a piece of the human alive inside of the walker? Possibly. Talk to James. Okay, before we do that, you guys know there's definitely a skull somewhere around here. Do you think we can get the wind chimes? Huh. Wow, this reminds me of, I don't know, anytime I see a tractor, it just reminds me of season one. Yeah, I bet you we can grab the wind chime. A wind chime. Might be pretty in our room. Yeah. Very nice. I think it had shells on it too. Pretty and peaceful. Oh, it's a salt lick. Clem, what's this? It's called a salt lick. <laughs> salt lick? Please don't lick it. Sounds gross. Well, maybe it's actually good, like chips. Those are salty, right? Oh, yeah. Like the snack bag in the car. Can I lick it? Whatever you do, don't lick it. It tastes horrible. Wait a minute, how do you know? Did you lick it? <laughs> Why are we having this conversation? I don't know. Wait, that was such a weird response. <laughs> Alright. Um, please tell me he actually does lick it. I don't even care if I said please don't lick it. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like he's gonna do it. Don't tell a kid to not do something if you genuinely don't want them to. Hmm. Must have had electricity here once. Hmm. Where's the skull? <gasps> Pick up toy. Is it another vegetable? Is that a beet? It's a beetroot. Beetnik. <laughs> Alright, we have the broccoli. One of the Disco Broccoli's chive talking friends. Alright, before we talk to him, are we sure there isn't a skull anywhere? I just feel like we've collected two. But there's gotta be one more. We can't go through there. I know we missed one from the first episode, but I was still thinking that maybe there's one more out there. I guess I didn't look back from where we came. But it won't allow me. Oh, yeah. There could possibly be stuff on the inside, but yeah, I think that's it as far as what we can take up. Oh. Look at Barn. <sighs> Doesn't look like there's been a horse here in a long time. Hmm. I feel like this has been my favorite episode so far. Probably because James is in it, but also because it's not at the school. I don't know why, but there's just something I didn't... I haven't been a huge fan of the school. My I know we're going to go back, but... My former people, they had a practice. They called it... Collecting. Walkers. Yeah. They're not interested in us? They use them as a weapon. 
I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do. As people. As people? Well, not people exactly. But... Mm -hmm. Something in between. Part of us is still in there. We did talk about down. this earlier this season. So few of us die anymore. We turn. Not dead, not alive. I wish I could see it that way. It'd be nice to think that everyone isn't actually gone. In a way, they're just lost. They want to eat brains. Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. I mean, there's monsters inside of people. Way. As someone you cared about turned. Mm. Many. Clem's friend, Lee. She shot him before he did. So he wouldn't have to suffer. Sorry. Maybe this wasn't the best way to explain. Didn't mean to bring up difficult memories. I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. When they're alone, they're harmless. Innocent. If you want my help, I need you to try and walk with them. Then tell me if you really believe they're just uh, monsters. Why do we have to? I they are just monsters. I'm trying to save a friend here. Or friends. Clem. She'll be safe, I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. Lewis she wouldn't do this for us. As they do. Save me if it gets bad. If it gets bad in there, I'll need you to save me, okay? Can you do that? I. Yes. I feel like this is hardly the I'll time protect you. to be trying to change my point of view. Oh. Is he going to give me the cool gloves, at least? The first rule is never go alone. I'm not leaving you. I'll be right back. Find the exit. Mm -hmm. I will. Remember to breathe. <laughs> I will. I promise. Well, we've already... I mean... Clem's the already... mask will disguise your scent. But be gentle. And be quiet. Touch the wind chime. You'll see. Clem has walked amongst walkers before. It's not like this is a new thing. Obviously from this different perspective, before we rubbed guts on us, but... This is an interesting part for this season. I see the wind chime. It's certainly a different perspective. You guys, I always tell you how The Walking Dead does a phenomenal job at giving us every, like, every case possible that you could think of. <sighs> this is certainly a new perspective.
Is that why they're attracted to sounds? Is because they, like, remember something? Or there's a piece of them that... I don't know. I'm trying to see the beauty here, you guys. I'm trying to see it from a different point of view. <laughs> oh, hey there, kiddo. I'm trying. It's all right. I'm fine. See? No bites. No bites. So... Do you still think they're just monsters? Now that you've seen them at peace, any different at all? I... I think you might be right I... about there being something more to them. It was kind of nice in there. What? Really? Why did I say that? I've never met someone who understood. <laughs> I think I just it's... want James to like me. Thank you. I'm glad. Uh, have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Have you ever killed a person? Mm. Many. But that was a long time ago. See, I think I probably was trying to answer I've what would be best for our too. scenario. AJ. You've killed someone? Yeah. I'm a murderer, but I'm trying to atone. Well, that's good, mm. I guess. <sighs> that's enough. What about the walkers? Clem has We're a wicked eyebrow, like... Arch. I thought I could, but I can't. So many walkers would die. I told you. Oh, the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine. But I can't have more blood on my hands. James, the walker mm -hmm. in the barn, the one with the different eyes, what was his name? His name? What do you... How about the woman in the back, near the wind chimes? What's her name? I... I don't know. Asim. Omar. Lewis. Those are the names of my friends, the ones who were stolen by the raiders. I'll never forget that. Hmm. That was a good sound argument, I feel like. I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless. You just have to read the person that you're trying to get assistance from, Those I feel like. raiders are cruel. They force others to be the same. And if your friends are anything like you, I don't doubt they're worth saving. That was easy. It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. <laughs> Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. She's asking a lot of him. Like, she's asking him to really go against a lot of what he's been striving to change and do for years now. Or at least for a while. Hmm. But it sounded like even his previous group oh. became corrupted, you too. You said there might be people in Sidewalkers. Did you mean it? <laughs> Is he right? It's what he wanted to hear. Honestly, I just told him what he wanted to hear. Walkers are just walkers. So you lied? Oh, damn it. I shouldn't have done that. He needed his help to save I should have told friends. him. So lies can help sometimes. Oh. Huh. AJ Come learns on, AJ. value in Let's lying. Get back before it's too dark. I. <laughs> That's hard, too, because actually a lot of those uh, answers that you do... I've never met anyone like James before. You do have to look at it through the lens of I mean, what could be perceived from this not action like him, or answer. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. He is cool. That's for hey, sure. Hey, Clem. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. Hmm. 
He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat and a herd of walkers, I'd call them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot in Annie before the, the <laughs> fight. Swear? Huh? It sounds like a swear. What's a hoot in Annie? Definitely sounds like one. No, it's just another word for party. Right. I know it sounds strange, throwing a party, but people need something to lift their spirits right about now. Good old morale boost. This Never could hurt be your nobody. Last chance. Mm. I want to make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay, uh. I'll be an artist. <laughs> oh, we have all those decorations too that we can add. I'm gonna make the deck, uh, the decor, decoration, a decoration for the party. For the okay, party. I'll get the heater. Well, excuse me. All right, place your collectibles before leaving. Ah, uh, our Venus flytrap, so beautiful. Okay, so before we pick that up, let's go ahead and place the sketch toy. How do you play with it? You draw pictures like this. <laughs> cool. God, I used to love those. Oh, and the magnetic ones where you could add the facial hair. I forget what that one was called. Let's use it. Draw from memory, draw something new. Oh man. Let's draw from memory. Yeah. How many different ones are there? I want to leave it on the one that I want us to see. Oh, is that broccoli? <laughs> All right, let's see how many new memory or memories are and the new ones we can come up with. Powerful, what is it? Powerful something. Powerful dash. Powerful stash. What am I missing there? I'm missing something important with that memory. Okay, so we finished up those. Let's draw something new. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's make a cat, you guys. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. We need to go back up and now we need to go over and do like a little oh gosh oh gosh oh gosh okay do a little eye oh no oh no okay that's the eye of the cat <laughs> wait, wait 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 okay oh no oh <laughs> okay let's go over make a nose real quick That's a whisker. <laughs> That's a whisker. <laughs> All right, wait, wait. I feel like we need to try this over again. Oh gosh. Okay, they just have two very pronounced whiskers. Okay, very pronounced whiskers. <laughs> All right, there's the second whisker. Come back down here. Third whisker. And then now we go back and down. And here's the body. I feel like this is easier when you're using your hands versus a controller. All right, Ginger has a small tail, so she gets, oh gosh, oh no. <laughs> that looks like a ginger tail, to be fair. To be fair. All right, there's a leg. <laughs> oh no, oh, why is one leg so big? <laughs> it's so hard to control. I forgot ears. We need to go put ears on it too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay. Ah, that's a good ear. That is a damn good ear, y'all. Oh. <laughs> I present to you a cat. <laughs> oh my god. And I'm done. <laughs> oh, 
I mean, it kind of looks like a rabbit. No! Oh, man, I didn't even get to save it. <laughs> I think it was really good up until the second ear. I think that second ear just made it look like a rabbit cat. <laughs> All right, wait, we did pick up a wind chime. Where can we place the wind chime? Right there. Hang pendant. Oh, the pendant. School pride. That's true. Maybe the wind chime goes up in one of the corners, or it would have to hang on the pipe, right? Oh. I like the music, even though it's loud. Hmm. I like the shell. All right, let's go interact. Erickson. Go where? No, like cheering them on. <laughs> I can't get over my cat. I wish they allowed it to like stay there. Uh, was there anything else? We picked up a wind chime. We picked up the pen <gasps> and the sketch. Yeah, I think that was no, 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 no. Weren't there two things we picked up at the there we go. That's right. The toy. I forgot about it. What's his it's name? an artist. Beat Nick. <laughs> That's funny. Do you even get what the joke is? <laughs> no. Aww. I'm gonna show him to Tin later. Oh yeah, cause Tin has all those toys How's as the drawing well. coming? Can I see? Nope, it's not done yet, but it is pretty good. Oh, okay. But is it as good as my cat? <laughs> Alright, let's grab this. I think that's everything we need. Clever contraption. I'm done, Glim. Come see. Okay, be right there. I'm fairly certain that's everything. That is very colorful. Hey, you're getting better at this. Goodbye, so boat. Be as good an artist as ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? Hmm. AJ. I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. What stuff? There are three kind of eyes, Clem. Hmm. Oh, yeah? There are live people eyes. We got those. Then there's monsters' eyes. They usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters' eyes aren't even wet. Mm. And then there are live people eyes right as you kill them. Like you did to Abel. His, his eyes look like you blew a candle out. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. How old is this kid again? I hated him, too. I think there's something wrong with me. You've seen too much death. You're a good person, AJ. You know what, AJ? Everything you're feeling is okay. It makes you a good person. He's so smart. Like, am I good? I want to be better, Clem. Let people know I'm good just by my face. <laughs> you're the best, okay? I'm getting real smart. I would say so. <laughs> Is that right? Yes, because I'm always thinking all the time. Okay, what are you thinking about <laughs> right now? I'm thinking about the- You getting bit, turning into a monster. Oh. oh. Yeah. yeah. The older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. Because everybody tells then? you that you're gonna have that happen. Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. AJ, we've talked about this a lot. If I get bit, you know what has to happen. If she dies at the end I of the season. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Mm. But you brought it up, so we're going to. It does something weird to my stomach. Like I'm gonna get the dookies. <laughs> AJ. <laughs> I need to know you remember what we talked about. <laughs> what you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Shoot. No. No, mm. I'm not gonna do that. You have to. AJ, you promised. I don't care. I'm not gonna shoot you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. Oh. What? You don't mean that. I want to be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me. I'll bite you so hard. I know we've talked about it so much, but don't make me. Alvin Jr., if you have a gun, you shoot me. 
If you don't, you use your knife. No knife, a rock to the head, as many times as you have to. I said I don't wanna. I don't care what you Why say. Are we arguing we about my it. life or death right I now? I don't care what you say. God damn it, AJ. <sighs> I feel like I picked the wrong choice in that you specific can't break section. Promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said. <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. Yeah. We might even be okay. You think so? Let's say James might be right. That monsters have part of the person they were still inside them. The thing is, no one can prove that. And if we can't prove it, we're not going to risk our lives over it. I agree with that. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. A kid's idea of playing post-apocalypse. What's with AJ? He just needs some space. Can we talk about what happened today with Minnie? Mm. Yeah, sure. What's wrong? The thing is, seeing Minnie, I feel like it should have scared me, but it didn't. The person we ran into in the woods that yep. wasn't Minnie. I told you. Not really. The way she sounded and acted, the way she talked about Sophie and Lily, I'm, I'm and confused, ten. I guess. We can, we can save. still save Minnie. If we brought her back, we could... You saw how she reacted when Lily showed up. Those are her people now, and we are not. Minnie, I saw that coming. The real Minnie. She's gone. She's been gone this whole time, and I have to stop mourning her. I won't let her take you or AJ. Or anyone else I care about. The picture. Lewis knows when to keep his head down. Yeah, shit. Well, I, I, I hope so. You know, when I first got here, I hated him. He was so much. You know? He walks yep. into a room and it's yep. like, Look at me! Watch me perform! It's mm -hmm. so stupid. But then I realized under all that, he... He really cares about people. And he doesn't just feel it. He says it. He's a performer. I'll tell you every goddamn day how much you mean to him. Shit, he'll probably sing about it. Especially if there's already a famous song with your name in it. That's true. We've got to get him back. We will. Louis Omar Asim will get them all back. I feel like Omar's been done dirty this season. <laughs> we met him like um, once. I made you this. Aw. A Clementine? Really? It's like a name badge. That's so and cute. Put on your jacket. You have Violet's pin, token of friendship. It's kind of cooler than friendship bracelets, I gotta say. Hey, Clem! <laughs> wow, where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I've never seen I a beach ball that big. Mm, that was pretty gross, but look, it works. <laughs> I should get going. Ruby could probably use some help. It was pretty gross. <laughs> Bye. It's cool, right? Super cool. It is pretty cool. <laughs> back! Toss it back to him. Bop it off his head. <laughs> You're terrible. Hey. It's cute hearing him laugh, though. I feel like we, as a kid, like he hasn't laughed very often. I love you, Clem. I love you back, kiddo. I like that she says that okay. instead of I love you too. To I love that Sounds she says like I love you back. Okay. 
it just feels more genuine, you know? I guess whenever you tack on two after it, it just feels a little like saying it out of obligation or something. So maybe when she's saying I love you back, it just I don't, feels like there's more thought. Looks like things are coming together. Yeah, we still need to figure out lighting, music and something to write on that banner. Oh, if we're going to die. We should have some fun first. Hmm. Music? Oh, Lewis isn't Plan here. a sweet party. See that? <laughs> you it's got like Lewis in a box. That's Come on, I'll show you how it works. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it so much, you guys. I feel like I want to get into I don't know. I always want to do party planning, interior design, something. I don't know. I'll I just be love using the banner for some kind of party theme. Oh, mm, like planning weddings exactly. or something. It's Super nice stressful, to be more but motivational. I'd keep it short though. It's not as much room as you think. Uh, so you know, I was on thinking the other something side. uplifting, like we're gonna get through this. AJ, why don't you come Let's up with something? Let's have AJ pick. Really? I have an idea. It'll be a surprise. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. He is definitely feeling some guilt, I think, over his so actions. So you take one of those black things that look like plates and you put it on here. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. Ooh, okay. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple That's might true. be nice. Rim gets natural moonlight, so something to compliment that, maybe? <gasps> Let's deck this place out in green. I like green. Green's Maybe's my favorite, favorite color. color. I'll make it happen. I did like the purple, though. I think the purple is nicer at night, I will say. But I don't know. I just liked... I gotta go with my favorite color, you know? Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play <laughs> some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Yeah. Just tell me what you want to listen to. Guys, uh, um, country all the way. <laughs> something country? That's my favorite. It's funny because I used to hate country. I like, never listened to it. And now it's like all I listen this to. This place is going to look great. But it was also, I could have gone with like, I feel like jazz would have been nice too. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlon's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show oh. it to you first. Wait, this is so much fun. I also went with country because I feel like a lot of country has um, like a fiddle or a violin and I love, I just think those are so much fun at like a party. Hey Clem, a good check fiddle. I found a bunch of books on ships. Oh. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. Oh. Key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. Oh, wow. And from wow. hurting anyone else ever again. Blow up the ship. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Mitch, Besides, whatever. it feels right, you know? For I'm Mitch, noticing a bomb theme. Nice. <laughs> Mitch would love this plan. I know, it's perfect. I can't think of a better memorial than to blow that boat out of the water. The as long as they're safe. The tiny explosion so that it happens after you get off the boat. Trust me, this will work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready. Master's degree of ass. And, um, Clem, I'm sorry for before about how I treated Ten. No, I'm just kidding. He's nice. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. I think, uh, real quick, just one thing that I'm noticing, I think at first I disliked how we really didn't get to know a lot of the individuals, but it feels like they focus on, like, two people to, like, move you a little bit closer in each episode, but I think that's good, too, because I think that's more how it would be, especially coming from a school that was full of, you know, quote-unquote trouble, you know, for the troubled youth. I think a lot of them are, you know, already protective and very like keeping their feelings close to their chest so it makes sense I think it does each episode we've started to have a tender moment with one or the other yeah I should have gone with purple the green is a little like and no the green was the wrong choice green was the wrong choice spooky it actually makes me sleepy <laughs> well, 
Wow, this looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. Surprise, but dummies. Just wait till you see what else I've got planned. <laughs> Go ahead and mingle. Oh, man. I'll let you know when it's time. Surprise. I guess I'll mingle. Aw. I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Mm -hmm. Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Do we really need Something to? Something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. All the best bombs have names. It's a bomb, not a baby. We're not naming it. <laughs> okay, fine. I feel like it's a little Have unnecessary. I almost feel like it's an egg on her pin because it <laughs> looks like a yolk. Them. Wait, I didn't even get to mingle. Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Erickson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Yeah. <sighs> okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. Oh. And all the bad shit we did that kept them from sending us back home. What was Marlon's? So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really are. So, Fair. I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I feel like this is going to hurt somebody's feelings. I'll make feelings. sure someone you've actually met. This will be the first one. Okay, okay, okay. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. What are my options? It's all of you? I'm gonna go with Marlin. Well, not to speak ill of the dead, but that sounds exactly like Marlin. You'd think so, but nope. It was Violet? Really? The person in the file? <laughs> Imagine Marlin times another Marlin. That's Ruby's file! <laughs> Holy shit, really? What? Guilty as charged. That was Ruby? Yeah. You should have seen Ruby back in the early days. What? She was like, uh, you ever seen those Tasmanian devil cartoons? That's true, she's so mild now. <laughs> that was our Ruby. Uh -huh. Used to have a mean streak a mile long. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. Okay, so they are I probably mean, very different totally from what they are it. now. <laughs> the first time I met Ruby, she was all, that little motherfucker. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> I said I was sorry. <laughs> you guys want to know why I got sent here? <laughs> I can't wait. Willie, please, no. Chronic masturbation. Trust me. Nobody wanted to know that. What does that mean? Oh god, no. Uh-uh, don't you dare. Oh god. No, Ted! Oh man. Uh, anyway, maybe we should change up the music? Oh, I've all kind of different music, I think. Let's do jazz. There's a lot of them. Sure, we've heard enough of this. Break out the jazz. I was hoping for something a little bit more uppity. Like, you know, I don't, I don't know. Devil went down to Georgia or something like that. Okay, I like this, but I feel like you need to switch the lights to purple. I feel like purple and I the jazz music would be a vibe. We lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa mm -hmm. and Jasper. That one girl with colored braces. And Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Holy cow. Erin. Yeah, I used to make fun of her braces. Why did I do that? Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Jeez. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Rosie's still alive. Let's see Rosie's file. Whose is it? I knew this was going to make us Lewis. more upset. Should we read it? I could tell you why I was sent here instead. You know, as a consolation prize or whatever. Mm, it's going to make us choose. Me after, but since we're all being so open and all. Isn't it always having us choose, Lewis, or only if you want to share it with me? 
Who you were before doesn't matter. I was hoping you'd tell me. I spent I wanna a know. lot of time at my grandma's house growing up. What with my dad being a drunk and my mom working three jobs. But after my grandpa died, grandma just kind of shut down. Aww. Spent all day and night rocking in her little chair in the den. I'd sit there at her feet as we both watched TV. Mostly cartoons, since she never seemed to care. Sometimes I could hear her crying, but I didn't look back. I'd just feel really weird and turn up the volume. You know? Mm. Anyway, one day she left the den and came back with another chair and a 22 rifle. Set the rifle butt on the top of the chair, holding the barrel back to her chest. So, you know, she had trouble reaching the trigger this way, but she must have known it would happen because she took out this really tacky wooden back scratcher. The real long kind with the one end shaped like a hand. And uh, used that to push the trigger in. Jeez. So yeah. Bang. Right. Her body folded up and just kept rocking. That is nightmare fuel. My mom came to get me five hours later. I hadn't moved. She asked why I didn't call the police or an ambulance or anything. I just shrugged and told her it wasn't like grandma was going anywhere. And besides, I just wanted to finish my cartoons. She shipped me off to Erickson the next day. I was 11. That's crazy that she just dismissed her so quickly like that. I'm so sorry, Violet. I can't imagine what that was like, what you went through. It's fine. We've just been through a lot of shit. It sounded like her parents we didn't want to deal with her anyway. Clementine. But it still it was like the mean excuse they been needed. Left here to die by the people that were supposed to take care of us. Sorry, this is supposed to be fun. I'm, I'm just not the game type. Like <laughs> Lewis was, I guess. That's true. You mean is? We'll see him soon. Ten's right. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us "Don't Be Afraid" when all of us used to get scared? Too bad I can't play it. Lou would have known how. He liked that one. Hmm. The party would have been a you lot different if we had chosen like Louis to. to stay. Your voice is really pretty. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, mm -hmm. uh, I can do that. All right, Violet. Let's hear it. Oh, getting chills. Never mind the blood red moon. The night will be over soon. Mm. The night will be over soon. Brush away the sorrow. I wonder if she did she sing to AJ when he was little? Brush Christmas Carol, but yes, it was still beautiful. Every night goes quiet, and every uh. moon grows blue beyond the dark. Ten hasn't asked a lot about his sister, you know. The sun will be rising soon. The 
I should feel attachment to these characters and I don't know why I'm not. I feel like something's messed up with me. <laughs> like there's some very tender mo moments in this series, like in this season, and I'm just, I don't know what's going on. I feel like too, each episode is very like, it's a slow burn, and then all of a sudden you get that classic Walker or Walking Dead finish where a lot happens in the last, like, 15 minutes. Um, and we've been doing a lot of stuff where we're, like, gearing up for a fight or or whatever it is. And, oh, oh, oh I'm about to go emotional. Hold on. And um, before I get emotional here, but, yeah, I just think that I'm assuming that they're taking the time to have you make these genuine connections with these people at least from Clem and AJ standpoint because I feel like Clem's either going to end up dying and at least you know the people that he's going to be left with or this is going to be their home and then they want you to end feeling like she did find a family hey, she looks pea. so young Lee? Why the train? You always pick the train. Well, I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Uh, you were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Hmm. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Couldn't <laughs> let on, of course. I didn't feel it that way. So little. I never noticed. It just felt like you always knew the right thing to do. But then on the opposite yeah. side... <laughs> well, I got lucky. Luck counts for a lot. I want to cry every time they have another interaction. I'm gonna need some now. You want to tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now. And I've been in so many. And they always fall apart. But I really like this one. It's different. Hmm. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out mm. of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. Clementine, I know is gonna fix it. If I can I make really it this believe far. That. You're right. I just needed to hear you say it. I'm going to get my friends out of this. Every one of them. Alive. That's right. Imagine what Lewis is gonna say when he sees your face. <laughs> Those boys are gonna have hope again knowing that you came to rescue them. It's true. <sighs> Oh, sweet pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? Oh, here we go. You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again when you've gotten them out, okay? Out and safe. <sighs> Sound good? 
And hopefully we can talk about happier things. Every one of us. If you know of any. Lee? I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. I miss you too, Clementine. <laughs> but we'll have to make do with pretending. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. <laughs> I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. Yeah. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. Considering You're in my everything. Shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. It was easier for me since the world was just changing. It's true. But you're living in one that's changed completely. You doing okay? AJ's amazing, Lee. I've taught him to be strong and brave and capable. He'd be so proud. You mean more than I already am? Yeah. <laughs> How do I want to cry every time I see him? <laughs> There's been very few characters throughout my entire time gaming that I felt such like an emotional response to. <laughs> wow. Just look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at you. I told you to keep this short. Um, you don't know how hard it is to find scissors these days. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go, Clementine. Caesar is no longer the little girl. There are people that need you. <sighs> Goodbye, Lee. It hurts the same. <laughs> Clem, wake up. Yeah. It's time to go. Okay, let's do this. For Lee. We got a long For AJ. Walk. For AJ. I don't even, I don't think it's possible to create anybody stronger than Lee in the series. <laughs> All right. Poor James. Okay. They're gonna use the face. Uh, I guess we're really doing this. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need oh, your with walker the friend. He's here. Good lord. Uh, hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Guys, this is James. He's my friend. Hmm. He's, uh, so cool. How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh, I, um... Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please. Willie, stay focused. Now isn't the time for this. <laughs> we can ask questions later. Yeah, Unless wait. Willie dies. Sorry. I'm focused. No, I don't oh, want anybody. And sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. That's true. I, uh, uh, hey. Hey there, James. Sorry about Willie. Is Maybe he'll this join the guy us. That Clem said she'd marry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Come on, guys. Hold tight. Be cool. Hey, Tank, can you come talk for a sec? 
There's something I have to tell you. Oh, so they never told him that they saw Minnie. The That's walkers. what it was. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. They're already starting to roll in. Your friends are different. Open minded. Accepting. Like you. That's true. That's not usually how my first impressions go. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. It's just being welcomed. It's strange. You know, I want them to join our group. Friends too. I know you didn't want to come into the school before, but now that you've met them. I haven't lived with people in a long time. But it does sound nice. Let me think about it. Let's go. His hair is always I perfect after taking the something. mask off. It's incredible. This was my boyfriend, Charlie. We joined the Whisperers together. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be marrying but him. It changed him. In a way that couldn't be undone. Unless. It changed both of us. Wait, what wait. do you mean? He's still alive the with the Whisperers? whispers? Or my family from a young age in that time I witnessed a lot of death and suffering eventually I became the cause of it weakness was considered a poison and I believed in that is his fiercely. boyfriend still alive so much so that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack I slit his throat Oh. I didn't talk to him. Didn't consider who he was, what he felt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember his name. All I knew was someone like him would only slow us down. I'm just that was let him enough talk. of a reason for me. And I had no doubt in my mind that I was right. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. No one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Mm. Of myself. He said it was wrong, but it sounded like he was just repeating what he'd been told. That's true. Taking life like that from a young age, it breaks something inside you. I believe it. It broke something in Charlie. Charlie. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. I'm not going to let AJ become mm -hmm. a killer. I don't want him to change. I don't need somebody like to that. tell me that. I hope you can keep that promise. I'm gonna try. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to Did he say that Charlie was still with the whisperers? I'll lead you the herd until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. I hope he doesn't die. Thank you. Take care of AJ. No, uh, that does not sound like a. That sounds like a solid goodbye. Not like a. Okay, I'll see you in a little goodbye. Go. The walkers are getting close. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Ted, take care of the supplies. Okay. I've got the bomb. Jeez. Find the boiler. Snacks. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. Love you guys. Gotta go bye. <sighs> See you all on the other side. Give him L. I'll cut it open. Ten and his sister. Something's gonna happen. Violet told me about Minnie. That Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Just... If you see her out there, tell her... Tell her I forgive her. Please. I tell her myself, but... 
I just want her to be okay. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. Ten Thanks. is so sweet. Are we gonna be able to talk to everybody before it happens, or...? Hey, it's time. We gotta move. Oh, um, <sighs> what happens if someone else gets caught while we're in there? I think it's the crickets. <laughs> Sometimes I listen to crickets when I'm you? going to bed. <laughs> or like thunder. Let's make couldn't me... save Minnie or Lou or a Sim. Omar. You saved me from these people. In a way, you've saved most of us. And if something happened to you, and it was my fault, mm. I can't lose you too. I won't. You better not disappear on me, okay? Sometimes okay. people just need a hug. Violet will remember that. Are we good? I can't wait to see the stats yeah. and my placement with people so. after this. Okay, let's bring our friends back home. I felt like this was All my more... Them. All of them. Grounded choices this episode. It's ready. All right. So, I know this is gonna sound gross, but... Covering your smell. <laughs> Smart. Hmm. Let's use those goods. I think we've done this every single season. Cause yeah, we even did it. Didn't we do it in uh, three back? as well? Although this time it's way more bloody and less like the brown goop. Thanks. We gonna do it? Doesn't it smell We're like it. terrible? Let's do it. Here we go, last 15 minutes that are really okay. fast paced. Follow my lead. Here we go. Use X to get behind walkers and avoid getting shot. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so you have to press forward, but then if you start hearing a focus on you, then you have to grab one of the walkers. Like right now. All right, we're close. Okay, nice. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Okay, now I don't know who we're gonna use. But I think we're close enough that we're good. Oh no, I'm getting shot! Yeah, I did not plan it appropriately. <laughs> I was like, I have no more walkers. I have to... You know what the problem was? Is that I used to somebody too quickly. I didn't stay far enough back. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. Alright, let's do this one more time. Let's start. There's like a lot more... We'll keep pressing forward with this. I think it's because I started running ahead of the pack. Nice. All right, let's rotate over here. Let's use this one. There's not going to be any walkers left after this. This one. That will leave a couple in front of me. Okay. This guy should get me all the way. Hopefully. Here's to hoping. Yep, yep, nice. Good shit, good shit. Very nice. Okay, here we go. He should have. Damn it! Someone get over there and see what's going on. Now's our chance. That was a really heavy thump. We can't risk leaving cover. We'll have to crawl along the side of the dock. Okay. 
All right, crawl along the side of the dock. Nice. Just stop moving when somebody comes near us. I feel like we're making so much noise. The guts are washing off. We should be fine, though. It's not like we need the walkers. We don't need to blend in again, right? Pull her in. Follow me. This way. Oh, what? Oh my gosh, I'm getting parts of the Caribbean flashbacks right now. <laughs> Interesting. What? Did one get me? Oh, shh. Kick him, kick him, kick him. Nice. <sighs> and now they're completely washed off. Fuck, are you okay? I'm fine. Crap, get behind cover. Okay, does she still have the bomb, by the way? I don't see Stay it on her. Close. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, hold on. I just started moving and talking and I was not paying attention. Damn it, sorry. Give me a sec. <laughs> I'm doing Clem so dirty this season, y'all. Fuck, are you okay? Oh, I'm man. Fine. I don't have anything left to drink. Okay, let this walker Stay go close. first. Stay hidden. Okay, go, go. Should be another walker that comes up, right? I don't trust it. Yeah, I see, I don't trust that. Let me let it go one more time. Okay, we need to go when it goes away to the other side. There's not gonna be a walker to come save us. Not today, Satan. Okay. I could have gone the first time, but after getting shot in the head twice, I'm really not trying to go for a third time. Come on, let's hurry. Okay, climb up. Ready, AJ? Walkers! We gotta go quick. Aw, I feel like we're doing James dirty. What happened to that arrow? Are you guys seeing those arrows? They're moving around like that guy from uh, Guardian of the Galaxy with that arrow that flies around everywhere. All right, they have more hay, which could come in handy. We're gonna have to start a fire inside We're getting too. close. After we find the boiler and place the bomb, we'll get our friends out. Oh. And he said there were eight raiders, but we didn't see that many outside. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Right behind you. I think it was Good. more important to ask where they were to me. when it's clear. Got it? Okay. Yeah, I should have asked where they were, not how many there were. Grab the pitchfork. Okay. Over here. No shot. Didn't he come from that door, though? It's just locked. Okay, it's gotta be this way. Second times. A charm. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Hey! Who's there? Ooh. Wait, wasn't that the one that I thought when we were scouting he was oh he was up on top of the ship. Oh, oh, oh! Oh. All right, he's not scouting on top of the ship anymore, that's for sure. Hey, Clem, this has got to be the boiler, right? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. That's where we need to plant the bomb. There's too much stuff in the way. Maybe there's another way in. I'm hearing like a heartbeat or something. There's something that's like pounding. 
All right, there's gonna be one more person. We've already dealt with two. There's the third one. Okay. Killed one though, so there's still seven. Okay. Wait here. I'm gonna have to kill him. He's just not paying attention, is he? I don't- oh. oh! What if I- if I had done the leg, it, it might have not killed him and then he could have shot us still or made noise and I went for the kill. Alright, place it. How much time do we have? I feel like we're not gonna have time. Are you kidding me? This feels like it's gonna get us killed, you guys. Feels like there's a Fritos bag on top of it. You have Willie's bomb. It's a bomb, not a baby. <laughs> Good luck. Bury this thing in the bottom of the river. Okay. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. Oh, How true. Long? Okay, sure. Oh. An hour, thirty minutes. Let's hurry up then. Hmm. They're gonna start it up soon then. All right. Find your friends. We never asked where they were. We messed up. There's no way that they're back here. We're gonna have to go up to the second level. They're definitely not over here. Yeah. We gotta go up. Maybe they're on the top floor, so maybe we need to go up one more level. They could possibly be in like a... Uh, there, focus. there, there. Yes, ma'am. I, I have a little brother, short, scarred face. See, he? he's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. Jeez. <laughs> I love how they call Shit. themselves Delta. Before she had to be the cell guard. We can't sneak past her. Hmm. Get out. Not without our people. If you got ten caught up in this, just, just tell me hmm. that he's safe. Let us pass and he will be. Give me that. Ten says he forgives you. He told me to tell you. He forgives you. She will help us. I know she will. Between the two things we've said, she Shit. will help us. I'll help you get everyone out. Oh. Then you take my brother and run. Get him back to where it's safe. Uh... We Come need to get her off the ship or else she'll die with them. We also still have to have her face off with Lily. We've yet to have a face off. Clementine? Holy fuck! Oh my god. The keys. Are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I... Uh, yeah, I'm alright. We're alright. Take care of Louis first. He's... he's in rough shape. Finally, Omar gets some side. screen time. <sighs> okay. We don't have a lot of time before Dorian comes back. Dorian Gray. Lewis? Wait, Violet, if you... help me with these guys. Got it. I feel like she's gonna lock us in here with them. I don't know. I just. Lewis. Lewis. He's a walker. <gasps> I knew oh, it. I knew 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 it. That damn. I knew it. I just like I knew she was gonna help us for a second and then I was like, you know what? She's having us go in through there. I oh of course. Of course. Nobody's loyal. Not that she has any sense of like loyalty to us, or does she she doesn't need to, but still. Oh. Oh. I feel like he's gonna turn soon if we don't get him Lewis. help. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What have they done to him? <laughs> like, what the hell? What did they do to you? No! No, no, don't! They, they, uh... They cut out his tongue. He just, uh... He kept fucking talking. Oh my god. I'm 
sorry, Louis. <sighs> We're getting out of here, okay? Oh my... <laughs> Let's get you home. They're monsters. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. They've completely broken him. It's okay. How do we fix this? You'll be home soon. We have to get off of this boat, or else we're gonna... We have to get off of this boat. That... That bitch! We're not staying here that long. <sighs> Alright, come on, please. I have a lot more <laughs> investment into this now. Not that I didn't before, but still. That's just another level. Uh, look through door, there might be something for us to use. Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! Thank God. We can do something all together. At least we're not moving yet. We've still got time to figure this out. Talk to Violet, talk to AJ. Look at the latch. Okay. So we just have to get the board off and then you can easily fit your hand through that. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it. They must have taken away my knife. Of course. Wait. AJ, oh, it's been a while since they got knocked out. Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. Hmm. I need you to slide it over to me. Okay. 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 Where is it? Grab knife. Nice, AJ. I can't believe. I know I probably, AJ Shiv, I probably should have talked to other people first. Ow. I should have talked to others first and like probably done optional dialogue, but I just need to get in. I just need to get him out of here. Come on. Hey! <gasps> Whatever you doing, don't. I promise you. It ain't worth it. Um, Step back. We're all gonna die. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Good. I'll take it from here. Hmm. <laughs> Minnie's dead. I don't care if she's ten sister or Where not. Where is Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck. You little monster. Damn it! That was my call. I killed him myself. Back up. The knife. Okay. Minerva. Open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organize so these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Mm -hmm. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential. Look, if I'm the one you want, let the others go. This isn't a negotiation. This is me telling you how things are going to be. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. 
The thing that bugged him most She's a military waste. brat. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. Until he did. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. I can't I keep my mouth shut. Runs in the family. Is that the consequence? That you're an asshole? The <laughs> consequence is, I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults, but he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Keeping oh, lights off and cutting somebody's is tongue out is different. I want to tell you a story. Let's call it the parable of the twins. Oh, the real story of Sophie Two and me. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The hmm. people there grew corn and raised pigs and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They clean were given clothes. guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. Sophie you didn't. See, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They needed help fighting or they'd lose everything they built, their crops, their power, even their lives. They threatened to cut out their tongues? They only do that to the ones who can't keep their mouths shut. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. Minnie. <laughs> but the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity stirred up trouble every chance she got. This is gonna break her. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. Minnie killed her sister. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. I saw the one coming. To stay in the group. To stay in the group. No, tell me it's not true. Your own sister? Why would you do that? Because blood meant. She was twisting my head with her lies. And? Oh, she I was. I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty mm -hmm. to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one or the dead one? What have you the one done that puts a knife in your neck? You fucking psychotic bitch! You're evil! You are Fucking evil! Y'all better back away from the door. Violet, calm down. You saw what they did to Lewis. Just do what they say. Why? So I can become a soldier in their army? Someone who kills the people they love? Fuck that! They're gonna do something to Violet Pull and Minnie's gonna... Out of the cell. Yep, Minnie's gonna... Definitely... Crap. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! Don't hurt Violet, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo, you better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck no! Get off of me! Come on. Uh, Easy. Uh, Stay uh, still. Shit. Fuck you, no! The, what kind of soldier is that gonna make her? Uh, Don't make this hurt more than it has to. Come on. Just breathe. I'm gonna let AJ take the risk. I'm gonna let AJ take the risk. That a boy. Son of a bitch! Stop! It stopped her from doing the thing. It stopped her from that's doing the enough. thing. He bit me. I said that's enough. 
You deserve to die. We'll kill you! You think you can kill me? I know I can. We'll throw you in the river, and we'll put a knife right to the side of your head! Go. Big talk for a little guy. I know I can do it. I killed Marlin. He wasn't a monster, but you are! Hmm. Dang. So you killed Marlin. I bet you'd make a great soldier. Leave AJ alone. Don't talk to her. Leave him alone. This is between us. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Nobody's taking him away from me again. Come on. Let's go have a chat. Just us. <laughs> is that because oh, I had... Clem, okay, we can, we can no, escape please. this. This is how we Let escape. AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. Oh, I'll start up the boiler. Don't. Don't you dare look at me like that. You're a piece of it's shit. The only way we survive. Sorry. Who are you? Fuck yeah. survival. Look at what you're doing. You allowed them to cut Lewis's tongue out. Obviously, I mean, she killed her Minnie, sister, but. Please. I just want to talk to you for a second. I'm sorry yes. we never searched for you. Yes. For Sophie. I'm sorry Come we on. trusted that fucker Marlin. If I ever thought there was a chance. I know. I know. Okay? But Sophie's Let's dead. Let's go. You all need to understand. This is the only way. Slam her Lay face down. with the... Stay in line or you die. The people you love die. If you just do what they say, you can live. All of you, you can have a nice life. I'm gonna say sorry about this. Be rewarded, just like oh, I. Oh, are you rewarded? Are you happy? I'm sorry, Minerva, for everything. Huh. There we go. Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. Come Behind on. You. Oh. A fucking problem here. Oh. oh. <gasps> I won't let you get them all killed. <laughs> come on, Clem, come on, come on, come on. Shoot her. Minerva! I can't let her leave! You have to. <laughs> Violet had to. Oh, well, we're gonna add a knife wound to the list of the many things that have come on. We have to go gotten over the years. I can't leave her. Go, I'll catch up. Clem, come Violet, on. don't do this. We have to get the hell out of here. Go. I need to find AJ. Better see you on land. You will. Lewis, I, this is all. I wonder what they would have done to Violet, though. They would have done something to her, too. Like, if I had flip-flopped and they hadn't taken Lewis, right? Or is that... Does he get taken no matter what? Even if you try to save him? I don't know. <sighs> This turned brutal. We need to grab AJ and jump into the water. We'll focus that energy. Rescue AJ. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She hardly knew me. <laughs> you knew me what? How many years has it been? Back when I was just a child. You'll come around too once you see what we have to offer. Plenty Should of have food, bashed your brain in just like her dad. You can one more room. sneaking over the docks. It's ten. It's ten. ten. Fuck. I feel like he's gonna get killed here. Tennessee, did you get lost? Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. They got James. This way. Found this. No, no, no. James. No wonder there were so many walkers. They know about whispers, probably. 
Must have thought you were clever leaving those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say? You don't fucking scare me. Huh. He would kill her in a heartbeat his with his sucked. past. Force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Yes. Because you're weak. Yes. I give my people a cause to fight. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. No, people just are tired of fighting in general. Kill Let alone no! for somebody else. No. Fuck. Ten, yes. Easy there, Ten. Don't Come on, hurt ten. him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shoot her. Why don't we all just take a breath, all right? Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. Does AJ see us? All of us. Or, or no, else. No. Fine. Go ahead then. Do it. Save your friends. She's going to shoot him in the head. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? <sighs> <laughs> oh, I see. You came here to cry. Tim. <laughs> Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please don't. No. No. Ah! Yes, he's a fighter. <gasps> Who just grabbed her? Okay. Nice. Oh, okay. I saw. I saw. He grabbed her. Let's go. AJ. Aim for the head. Aim for the freaking head. AJ. Go, Clem. But this isn't the final episode. How does this end? Oh, oh, I brought AJ. She's close to the gun, isn't she? Oh, come on, Clem. I've never pressed any harder in my life! No! No, she's stronger. Oh. I hope she gets blown up with this ship. Gouge your eyes out. Oh! No, but she just gave her the knife. He just gave her the knife. He gave me the knife. Oh! Keep kicking it, Elam! Oh! This is brutal, you guys. Who got it? He's not AJ going to second wins. guess like Tennessee. I give up. I will give up. Put down the gun. I'll let everyone leave. My crew and I will leave. We won't bother you anymore. Crap, I'm gonna have to tell him what to do. AJ, she's not a threat. Lower the gun. You weren't down there. You didn't see what she did. She cut my friend's tongue out. <laughs> you don't have to do this, please. Uh, it's a trick. Don't you fucking dare, AJ. I talked to James about this. If I allow him to kill her brutally Just like this. Give me the gun. You can't let her hurt anyone else. I don't want to die. Lower the gun, AJ. I can't let him turn into a murderer. He has the choice this go around. But she's gonna kill somebody. Okay. She's gonna grab the knife and she's gonna kill somebody. It's gonna cost somebody their life. James. It's costing James his life. What? James! Here's the thing. I know. I know. I know. I know. Don't look at me like that, you guys. Look, here's the thing. 
we had that conversation with James and yeah, okay, he would have survived probably if AJ had shot her. But then what would the like long-term effects on AJ have been, you guys? That being said, I do look at that and I'm like, in this case, AJ's already like, let alone, even if he's not the one pulling the trigger, on this kill, he was the first, like, he's already pulled the trigger and killed one person, right? So, yeah, we want to stop him from continuing to kill people, especially when they're already down and they've been beaten. But at the same time, he's seen so much other twisted stuff, like, like, Lewis getting his tongue cut out, like, all of those things, those are going to have similar, and probably not the same. I know it's not the same as killing somebody, but I feel like there's only so much I can do to prevent him from becoming who he's going to become, and I feel like that was the right choice. I do feel like that was the right choice. You guys know I love James. I love James probably more than any of the other characters at Erickson, and he wasn't even at Erickson, but episode three, Broken Toys. Oh, it, like, froze. Oh, there we go. I <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it, but... And I'm sure so many of you guys chose to just shoot her there. But I don't know if she would have actually died there. I feel like this is a little bit along the same mistake of during season three when I could have chosen to shoot the woman when she was doing the trial, uh, the evil woman. And I chose not to shoot her. And I guess, like, in that situation... I wanted to do right by James and James, I did tell him that I was going to try my hardest not to allow him to kill again, but all right, I just need to let it go. My choices are my choices. I did it. I need it. I chose poorly. All right. You and 89% of players mercy killed Abel. I love how 11% of players forced him to turn into a walker. Honestly, again, I really want to go back through and do a playthrough where you just pick the most like brutal and just honest and kind of like asshole choices and see who stays alive or how does it turn out for Clem? How is the personality of AJ and Clem by the end of it? Um, okay. You and 49% of players respected James's beliefs and killed no walkers. 3% of you ignored his wishes and killed them all. And 49% of players only killed some of the walkers. Ah, so it was like an all or none. I don't know. I've respected James this entire time because I just feel like it was kind of in a way it's beautiful that he wants to believe that there's something more than just monsters there and you know I think a lot of it is brought on by him trying to make up for a lot of his deeds early on which we got some insight to but either way I just I think I wanted to respect him as a person and that's why I always kind of followed through with whatever he wanted you and three percent of players refused to name the bomb <laughs> All right, Mitch's masterpiece, Ruby's Revenge, or Willie Jr. I don't really know why. I just, I don't know. I just felt like we didn't need to name it and give it more, um, you know, of a huge impact than it already had. Plus, I kind of just liked that it said FU writers on it. But you and 86% of players allowed AJ to attack Dorian. I'm surprised by this. I actually thought more of you guys were going to decide to not. But then, okay, that's awesome. So 14% of players stopped AJ, but it allowed Dorian to cut off uh, one of her fingers. So we saved, we actually saved mutilation for her or saved her from mutilation. You and 47% of players refused to tell AJ to kill Lily. 53% of players told AJ to kill Lily. I'm insanely surprised by this outcome. I actually thought so many more of you guys would have picked to just kill AJ, but what that tells me and I'm actually glad to see that because it does tell me that a lot of us are understanding that that kill had to have played or will play a significant part in what happens to his character and his personality you and 89% vote. okay so we saw that Minerva fell, yeah Minerva MIA she can stay MIA for all I care about Minerva fell heart sick after learning 10 for even okay so I know that I was being really I have to say that, obviously, in her situation, we don't know what it was like. We don't know what Delta is like. And also, when you've gone years, right? Like, let's say you start out here, or you start out and you know what the world is like before the apocalypse hits and then it happens. 
we don't know what it's like when you enter a community and then you're getting hot water, like she said, food, attention, like all of those things that you haven't had for years and just a feeling of security. Um, so, you know, I'm trying to give Minerva a little bit more credit there, but at the same time, I think she's a bitch. <laughs> I was not, I won't be upset if she's dead. Lewis is MIA. Lewis was traumatized after his time spent with the Raiders. Lewis was consoled by your promise to take him home. He did not deserve that whatsoever. AJ's MIA. AJ felt conflicted after you killed Abel, sparing him from turning. AJ felt defeated when you said there will be, there's no way to prove you could be together as walkers. And AJ felt helpless when he spared Lily, only to have the, her kill James. Yeah, that could honestly play against us too. Maybe him seeing the lack of his actions or the result from the lack of his um, decision and deciding to shoot her. Maybe we'll have the reverse effects that we hoped lily's mia lily was inspired to take action after you tried to protect her, your friends lily felt smug when you stopped aj from shooting her she's such a little twat 10 is mia as well grateful that you stood up for him against willie 10 was grateful that yes when i promised yeah and i did uphold that promise i have been i will say i have been upholding a lot of the promises i've made to people Violet's MIA. Violet thing was thankful when you asked AJ to stop her. Yeah. Uh, Abel is dead. Felt assured when you promised him mercy. And then my man, James. I wonder if you can even keep James alive. I just, based on our last conversation with him, like the way that he said goodbye, it felt like we weren't going to see him again. But James felt elated when you said there might be more to walkers the state of the school rosie is worried about everyone <laughs> rosie's worried about everyone willie was bummed when you said you didn't want to name the bomb i'm sorry ruby was pr was proud you did not recognize her official erickson evaluation oh yeah i guess if we had picked ruby she probably would have been insulted by that omar is a mia and asim is a mia as well it's crazy because both of them i feel like they just haven't had a lot of spotlight but maybe that's in the next episode i knew we missed things i missed a horseshoe where did i miss a horseshoe no and also is that a water bottle or an eggplant is that an eggplant what is... i knew it where were they that's crazy i don't know where they would have been ah uh, now that i will say i think i felt like the a second episode was definitely slower and it was not as like heavy hitting as this one something about like okay so the build up in the second episode didn't feel like it lived up to that ending 15 minutes where they attacked the school but for what it's worth i did like the pace of this one better i also think that um I just enjoyed spending more time outside of the school. I've not, I just haven't been a big fan of the school setting, but I think that's also because we've spent so much time on the road and never actually having a home. And that's the whole point of this, right? Like that's the whole um, gist of having a place for her to call her own. And even that conversation with Lee touched on it. So holy beans, y'all. <laughs> Episode four, take us back. So this is where my thoughts are at. We got to see who's still alive. I think for sure, either way, the boat is going to, the boat is already exploding, right? So hopefully that is not going to be able to get them back to Delta. I don't think we're ever going to see Delta either. I feel like our home is going to be us all getting back to Erickson and then maybe seeing, maybe like figuring out how to create a normal life. But my thought with this is even as kids and I know they're going to grow up and they're they already are so experienced and they're good at defending they know what they need to do they now know that they need to gather food all of this stuff so ideally after this threat of this ship and these people from delta are dealt with <laughs> um ideally they would be left alone but that's just not the world that they live in anymore so I feel like if it's not this group there's going to be other people that try to come along and enter into the group if they do kind of become like a family and they they end up living there. Like, I feel like there's always going to be more people coming into the equation and trying to take the security and the happiness that they have. And my another thought that I have, and this is what I'll end on, is if all of these people die and nobody reports back to Delta, they they've already gone back to Delta and then they came back on the boat, I think. So it's like, isn't won't this school be on Delta's radar and maybe they don't want to waste any more 
men. They probably won't want to waste any more troops, but I just can see it being like a great, like, okay, this school of kids took out some of our best people. And now we need to go revenge, you know? So I don't know how it's going to end. We have one more episode and that's the end of her story. It just doesn't feel real. Ah, all right. Guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the last part, part four, the finale. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for your time and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.